fish shake around like that, it tears the hell out of a crappie jig, rubber grubs, air jig. So that's why I come up with the jack rat. Alright guys, I've come up with another product out of sheer need again for a better product to catch skipjack with. I know a lot of you guys use Sabinki rigs. I'm not real fond of Sabinki rigs. They tangle up in everything and they can't store them unless you buy a Sabinki pole and I don't like those poles. So what I've done is, is designed some jigs with stronger hooks similar to the crappie jig. Uh, I know a lot of you guys, if you do fish with jigs, it's been my experience that you'll, you'll be throwing the crappie jigs and, and getting hits and you think you're getting short strikes, but then you look at your middle, your middle crappie jig and the damn hook is gone. So now you gotta tear everything off and retie everything. But now with these, the hook is not gonna break. If you get one a, a hook that breaks, I'll send you another package of, of skippy jigs. No charge. But I guarantee you they're not gonna break. We got the little jack rats and the jack attacks. The jack attacks, uh, I used the jack attacks this morning. They did pretty good. I used the blue one actually, and I caught several fish on it, burning it. But as the day went on, they, I guess they kind of started on a light bite. And I changed to a, a jack rat, which is a smaller, lighter bait. And I had to kind of pop it and drop it. And they, they, they'd hit it on the fall. So it's just a bait that's going to be with you a long time. You won't, you won't tear them up. And that, that's what's important to me. Them hooks penetrate that bone. They don't like to come out of there either. I'm using my new jack rats. The gray and black seems to be doing pretty good. And every now and again, I get one on the pink. Oh, the hooks are sharp. In the finger. Jack attack nailed him. Right there, you like the pink one. I like to put my skipjack in a in my live tank back here. I fill it up with water, put a lot of ice in it. I know a lot of guys don't like to soak their new freshly caught skippies in water, but hell, they live in water. Uh, I like to cool them down real fast. Cause what happens a lot of times when you catch them out of these hot water discharges? You just start stacking on top of the you know, skippies on top of skippies in a cooler. Uh, it kind of builds up heat. You know, you, you've got warmer water coming out of the hot water discharge, and then of course the shad they're eating is hot. So what I find is by the time I get home tonight, if I didn't cool them down like this, the bellies would already start to be rotten within five hours. So what I like to do is uh, dump a bunch of ice in water and put my skippies in them cool down fast and they stay a lot fresher throughout the year. First 15 or 20 of these you catch, it's kind of fun, but after you get up in the two or three hundred Skippy figure mark. It gets to be work. My back is killing me. He's mad. It's 
why these crappie jigs never did work for me. These things are mean. He liked the pink one. Pink seems to be a pretty hot color. Along with that shad color, black and gray. Alright guys, I ain't gonna claim this is a, a miracle bait. It's not. What I am gonna claim though is I put the better hooks so they don't break like the crappie jigs do. You can throw these all day long. They're never gonna tear up. Now you may lose them. If, you're, if your line breaks, you may lose them, but they're not gonna tear up. You can use them over and over. If you like to use the jig type rigs to, to catch your skipjack. Now you guys that like the Sabinki rigs, I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I'm not much on a Sabinki rig. They get tangled in crap. They get on my nerves. Now these hooks have got a pretty good land rate too. Now some of them still gonna get off. That's just how it is. So with these newer hooks, heavy duty hooks, you get most of them in. Big skip back there. And look what he hit. My little jack rat. Right there is what the skip jack are eating in here today. Which is a pretty big piece of bait. Or a pretty pretty big shad, but what I tried to do is mimic it, mimic the real thing in different colors. I've got five different colors. But that's what they're in there hitting today. I've been testing these for about a year. They uh, they seem to be doing very well. I'm, I'm pleased with them. That's why I'm going to offer them to everybody on the market. Yeah, they, they work for me. They work for me great. But, you know, I designed them for me. All right, guys, it's starting to rain. I got about a three hour drive to get home. I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, get home and put them in the freezer. All right, we're gonna head home. It's been a long day. You guys check out the, the Skippy Jigs, the Jack Attack, and the Jack Rat. Both of them worked fine. I had to use the Jack Jack Attacks earlier this morning. They're the bigger bait. You had to burn it to get them to hit this this afternoon i had to turn to the the jack rats and do the 
pop and drop, and they'd always hit it on the drop. So we end up with about 350 skipjack. So we're gonna head out and get home. See you.